How do some agents seem to accomplish so much while others are so busy and never have enough time to catch up? In this video, we're gonna go deep on some lessons that I've learned in time. Hi, I'm John Mikish, where I share proven strategies and tools that I use to grow and scale my real estate business. So my wife, Jen, and I were talking the other night about our real estate journey over the last 20 years and how at certain times, especially early on, there were just seasons that we had to go through where we felt like we were doing so much work and getting so little out of it. And I think that those seasons were required. Um, I think that we got stuck in some of them longer than we needed to be. And that's one of the things I love about coaching and mentoring is I'm able to kind of help people take a path that's more of a direct line with where they are and where they want to be and avoid some of those dead ends that we had to make along the way. So we can learn from the lessons of others. And that's what I want to do in this video is really just give some good perspective on some time. Tim Ferriss, author of The 4-Hour Workweek, wrote a really great blog post that's 17 questions for life. And I'll drop a copy of the 17 questions for life blog post that he wrote in the description below. But it's just a really good exercise to go through and maybe journal about it, you know, how it applies to you and your business right now. Um, but I definitely encourage you to check out these questions. And in this blog post, he shares a story how when he first got out of college, his very first job was a job where he was cold calling and he was selling data storage. So mass data storage, he was like calling on people to do that. And he was doing it from nine to five and everybody around him was kind of in that same gig doing it from nine to five. And they were having really awful results. And, and you know, maybe sometimes you feel like that in your real estate career, you're like, man, I'm doing all this work and I'm not getting any result. Am I doing the right thing? Should I switch? What am I doing? And so he was going through his own, you know, probably mental gymnastics as he was contemplating like, man, I'm doing this, but I'm not having success. And he got an idea, a very interesting one. He said, well, if everybody's calling during the same time and none of us are having results, it's kind of like the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result, right? He said, what if I called before nine and after five? And lo and behold, that's what he did. And he started to break records at his company for sales because he was doing the exact opposite that everybody else was doing. So like, what's an area in your business where you feel like you're doing what everybody else is doing, not getting the result you want. And where could you do the opposite of that and maybe experience different results? You'll never know if you don't quantify it and track it. So, you know, maybe that's an area, maybe there's an area in your business that you're thinking of right now, you need to do just that. You know, in our real estate business, there's some things that we just need to talk and communicate every 90 days. So that reminded me of the MIT lead study. And every 90 days, we have to talk about this and, and retrain on it and just kind of realign ourselves to what is the MIT lead study response and why is it important to me as a real estate agent? Well, it's a very thorough, conclusive study that found that when dealing with leads, so your internet leads and your leads that you get, you know, there's a certain time of week and time of day that works better to call them back. And what I find a lot of times is that, you know, we need to go back to this study and understand, hey, here's the best times of the week to call and here's the best times of the day to call. And I'm gonna drop that study in the show notes below so that you can review it and really think about your time blocking when it comes to prospecting. Is it in alignment with those times? And whenever I find somebody that's just not hitting the goals that they want and not having the success that they want in their career, normally I find a couple things in common with them. Number one, they aren't doing any prospecting at all or very little. And then the second thing is the prospecting that they are doing, they're not in alignment with the times that this study reflects. So it made me think like, hey, you know, Tim Ferriss' first job had success because he did what others weren't willing to do when others weren't doing it and boom, he had success. We gotta look at this MIT lead and response study and say, hey, this might not be the ideal time that I want to call and prospect, but if I can get exponential results doing it at that time, all of a sudden, I might not have to prospect four hours a day, I may be able to prospect one hour a day, but because I'm using my time wisely, I'm getting an extraordinary result. And I would just encourage you to let the data drive your decisions when it comes to the efforts that you're putting into your real estate business. And what you'll find is that will compress the amount of time that you need to do those activities for. And the bottom line is this guys, like that whole concept of working smarter, not working harder 
is really the core message of Tim Ferriss's blockbuster book, The 4-Hour Workweek, because he was able to say, these are the things that really matter and drive the needle. And if I just focus on these things, I can get amazing results in a very compressed time. A lot of us are so busy in our real estate businesses and our real estate careers, but we're not achieving much for all the busyness we have. So, you know, you just got to ask yourself, like, is what you're doing really the right things to do? You know, I, I, I did this exercise early on with one of the first mentors I work with, and I'm going to share it with you because I think you would find it to be very eye opening for yourself. And what you do is you get a timer or you set a timer on your phone. I had an actual timer that I put on my desk and uh, it goes off every 15 minutes. And when you're working every 15 minutes, a timer goes off. You got to be super honest with yourself, you know, and, and you got to write down what were you doing when the timer went off? Were you scrolling through social media? Were you checking your email? Were you buying something on Amazon? Or were you actually doing work that matters? Dollar producing activity. Were you actually prospecting? And just write it down. You think you know, right? So you're watching this, you're like, oh, I know kind of like what that would be. You actually don't. It will be so surprising to you when you look at all the activities that you were doing when that timer goes off during your work hours. I really encourage you to do that. It was a very eye-opening experience for me that stayed with me my whole career, even to this day. So I recommend you do that. And I was just talking to a really good buddy of mine. Um, he runs an amazing business in Florida and uh, just one of the top performing agents in his market. And he's got just an amazing team of agents that are just kicking butt down there. And he was telling me about this one guy that he has that works part-time. And the reason that he works part-time is because He's full-time in the armed services. So thank you for that. I appreciate that very much. Um, but he doesn't have a lot of time, right? So the time he has, he needs to be very intentional with. And my friend was telling me like how amazing his sales results were last year, just working part-time. And my friend was like, yeah, he could be like a X amount million per producer per year if he was working full-time. Because in my, in my friend's mind, what he said is if he can do that part-time, you know, what could he do full-time? And I thought that was really interesting. And in my mind, in my gut, I didn't agree with it. I didn't think that he would get like three or four times as much production if he had that much time. Because I think the problem that we have as agents is that most of us have too much time. And, and we don't treat that time and tell that time what to do for us. So we just kind of are busy doing whatever we're doing. But what happens is if you compress the time that's available, you'll get a lot more done in that time. So, you know, what are some ways that you can compress your own time? You know, if, if all of your prospecting had to occur for the week in a four hour block of time, you would be laser focused. You wouldn't be changing your laundry, you know, taking the dog for a walk, you know, checking your social media during that time, which is what a lot of us are doing right now. We're saying we're working, but we're doing all these other things and all these other distractions are happening. If we said, hey, we only have this much time per week to do this activity, we've got to make it count. We've got to make it worthwhile. You would get amazing results within that time frame. So how do you structure your day? How do you identify what those dollar producing activities are that need to happen week in, week out? And then once you quantify it, you can reverse engineer it and figure out, hey, if I want to make this much money, based on this lead volume that I have, I have to follow up with these people. I need to make this many calls per day, per week, what have you. And you can reverse engineer it and then you can get laser focused on your time. When you start to do that, the sky's the limit and you'll be able to grow and scale your business and grow a team of people around you to do the same. And really you'll be able to accomplish whatever you want in this field. So I just encourage you, you know, if nothing else, like take a hard look at time. What does time mean for you right now in your real estate business? Do you have a lot of time? Do you need more time? What are some of the things that are robbing you of your time that you could replace with higher value or dollar producing activities? I encourage you to look at that and I encourage you to go deep on the value of your time so that you can hit the goals that you desire. So if you got value from this video, do me a favor, please hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get more great content like this as soon as we release it. And for now, drop down into the show notes, check out that MIT lead response study, and also grab a copy of those 17 questions for life. I think you'll find it very interesting.